Welcome back Pro Guides family, I'm your host Dan, back to bring you another exciting video. Today we'll be going over all the agents and helping you pick your new main. Whether you like fragging out with pure aim or taking it slow with methodical ability usage, we got you covered. But before we dive any deeper, we bring you the question of the day, which is what is your favorite agent to play and why? For me, it has to be Jet. I know she's not the best agent in the game, but no one can argue that her abilities are really fun to play around with. I just really love floating around and getting to places for free, really gives me a wider range of places to play on the map. Now when it comes to playing Valorant, it can be a bit of a challenge to find yourself that agent that you want to play over and over because Valorant is such an aim heavy game. But don't worry, because we're here to break down each agent into their own respective category, allowing you to select the agent that best fits your playstyle. Kicking off our list of agents, we have Jet. If mobility is your greatest desire, then look no further than this South Korean powerhouse. If you love to make aggressive plays on both the attacking and defending side, then Jet might be your new favorite agent. Between Jet's dash tailwind allowing you to play aggressive angles on defense and her ability to dash into the site on the attacking side just makes Jet already the most mobile agent in the game. However, make sure you dash into a safe position if you're going to engage with it because there is a lot of animation lag at the end of the move, leaving Jet vulnerable for those crucial few seconds. Jet's updraft ability is another great movement tool with some unfortunate downsides. With updraft, Jet can get into a lot of angles other agents couldn't dream of, but just like with Jet's dash, there is a lot of end lag on it. Make sure to use updraft when you're safe or when you're confident an enemy can't shoot you out of the sky before you can even pull out your weapon. But one of Jet's most unique abilities isn't even technically an ability at all, it's her passive. With Jet's passive ability to float, she can get into a ton of unexpected positions without the use of an ability. This is most prominent on Haven's A site and Bind's B site, where you can get on top of almost any position on the site. This passive can also be paired with her updraft and blade storm to get you some sick aerial kills as her ultimate is totally accurate in the air. Oh, did I not mention blade storm? Yeah, so apparently Jet's wind magic lets her levitate five knives to chuck at enemies. This is Jet's ultimate, and when combined with updraft or tailwind, she turns into a lean green killing machine. So overall, Jet is for the aggressive minded solo carries that can make plays on their own. Jet is not at all team oriented, so if you like supporting your team, we suggest picking another agent. Up next we have Phoenix. Much like Jet, Phoenix is an aggressive oriented agent with a mix of solo and team play potential. This means that Phoenix's gameplay is built more towards taking aggressive fights, shot calling or being your team's leader when it comes to team fights, and taking objectives or aggressive angles on the defensive or attacking side. But that's where the similarities stop with Phoenix's abilities mostly resembling utility from Counter-Strike, with him having both a Flash and a Molotov. A feature lacking in other duelist kits, and something that really lets Phoenix stand out among all the other agents, is the self-sustain. Phoenix's passive is when using Hot Hands or Blaze Wall, he heals while inside these abilities' area of effect. This allows Phoenix to fight early round and heal off the damage if any was inflicted. However, the aggressive playstyle isn't all Phoenix is about. Playing a little on the cautious side can easily net you more kills than just bum rushing a site like all the Phoenixes in my games. If you don't always wish to play aggressive and play more passive with his wall and molly, you can pretty easily block off sight lines and prevent peaks if that's more your style. If you're just getting into Valorant, consider picking up Phoenix. None of his abilities are too hard to learn how to use properly, and the self heal lets you make a few mistakes before it starts really costing you. So if you're looking for an agent that allows you to do a little bit of both aggression and passive gameplay mixed with a little bit of teamwork, then Phoenix is the agent for you. Coming next to our list is Brimstone. Brimstone is the old dad of Valorant. He doesn't take crap from anyone and his kit reflects that. Brimstone is for the more team oriented players, someone who likes to ensure fights always end with his team on top. Playing Brimstone also involves being pretty vocal in games since you have to constantly coordinate smokes with your team pushes. If you're not someone who likes to communicate constantly or be a team leader, then we suggest probably looking at another agent. With Brimstone having access to three smokes that are able to block off sight lines and support your team in aggressive pushes, calling these smokes is key to your success. While your team is pushing into a site, why not start getting some kills yourself with Brimstone's ultimate? His ultimate is a laser shot from the sky killing anything in its path. I mean, how much cooler can that get? However, Brimstone can also be played more passive and can be utilized very well on the defensive side of things by locking down a site with his utility. Another bit of utility to add to his growing arsenal is an incendiary grenade. Exactly like Phoenix's, minus the fact that he can't heal, instead just damages himself and his allies and the projectile from Brimstone can bounce off floors. Use this ability along with his smokes to slow your opponents down, even pair the two together to get some free damage on some unsuspecting enemies. So if you want to be the overseer of the game and help keep your team protected while also having the option to go ham and frag out, 
Brimstone's your man. Up next, we have Omen. If you ever wanted to outsmart and outplay your enemies, well, Omen has just the tools for you. Omen is Valorant's resident agent of deception, allowing him to play both a defensive and offensive style. Omen has a true mix of abilities, with some being utility-focused and some being movement-focused. Dark Cover being his most prominent of those abilities allows him to place a smoke every 35 seconds, blocking sightlines and entryways. This allows him to hold down a sightline for your team or assist from anywhere on the map due to the smoke's huge range and the fact that they can travel through walls. The range of his smokes can also almost cover the entire map, depending on your location and map. Omen's ultimate is one of his more movement-focused abilities, allowing for you to teleport anywhere on the map. But this is where being a master of deception comes in handy. Even faking your ultimate by teleporting a few feet away has its benefits. Faking a teleport or even faking smokes on a site makes the enemy team waste time or make calls for rotations, leaving other sites open. If you are the type of person that likes to always have their enemies on edge and keep them guessing where you're coming from, then Omen is the agent for you. Coming up next, we have the most famous and well-known of the agents, Sage. Just like in almost every other game, support characters are the backbone of a team. Allowing for your team to engage and disengage fights with her barrier orb ability allows you to not only boost yourself, but your teammates over obstacles or barriers. Sage prefers to be around choke points or highly contested areas on both offense and defense. This allows for her to lock down a site with her barrier blocking an entryway completely. On top of her barrier, using her slow orb to nearly stop any pushes from different entryways is a huge advantage. On top of all this already amazing utility, she even has the only heal in the game outside of Phoenix. Sage's healing orb allows you to top off anyone who might have taken some damage, including yourself. Unlike Phoenix, when Sage uses her healing, she can actually get anyone on her team from 1 HP to 100 as long as they aren't taking damage while the heal is active. Want to know what's even better than being able to heal anyone on your team? What about the ability to revive anyone on your team? That's right, Sage's ultimate ability is Resurrection, which after a short delay will bring your 0 out of 13 jet back to full health. Sage is highly picked simply because of how instrumental a healer is to a game like Valorant, with no health packs or regenerating health. If you're someone who likes to make calls and communicate while healing to support your team, then Sage might just be the agent for you. Not interested in any of the agents so far? Not to worry, Breach has your back and always will. Breach is one of the most rewarding aggressors in the game with utility to back it up, making him a top tier pick in every regard. His ability to utilize his two flashes around corners and surprise his enemies is like no other. With the strongest flashes in the game and the ability to stun his targets with fault line makes him a force to be reckoned with. And that's just his pure utility. He even has a very unique ability with his Aftershock. Aftershock will explode on the other side of a wall after a short delay when fired. It is the best corner clearing ability in the game since it does not require you to have to get up close and personal with enemies at all. The skill gap is crazy high for Breach and his endless potential for a team comp has him being an amazing pick for those with confidence. Being able to shoot all of his abilities through walls makes for some great plays in outsmarting and outclassing your opponents. Breach is an agent that seems to have it all, but first, you must be willing to climb a mountain of skill. If you gravitate towards mechanically difficult characters, look no further than Breach. Not that you'll be able to when he blinds you for half an eternity anyways. Next on our list is the Brazilian demon known as Raze. Raze has some of the most damaging abilities in the game. From her seemingly heat-seeking boom bot to her cluster grenades that easily do better at locking down a choke point than some characters' entire kits, to her black packs which also give her mobility and can easily tear down sage walls, and if that wasn't enough, an insane rocket launcher ultimate which might as well be a reddit clip farm. Raze's grenades replenish after getting two kills in the round, while on top of that, spawning a free one every round. Her blast pack paired with her ultimate ability makes for some great fun and some amazing clips. If you're in the market for an agent that is a living, breathing highlight reel, then this is the best it gets. Her ability to get multi-kills and information while setting up aggressive plays make her a fun agent to play overall. Raze is for players who want to get the most damage and want to get kills and use her aggressive play style to her advantage while also getting intel for your team. If you're an adrenaline junkie, then Raze will probably take you to a whole new level. Slithering through the weeds is Viper. While not being most people's favorite agent, she can easily end up being underestimated. And is that not a Viper's most lethal weapon? Viper is most widely known for her ability to clutch up on defensive positions using her ultimate ability. I mean, who doesn't want to sneak around in a cloud of smoke and take out their enemies one by one without them knowing where you are? Viper is an agent that most defensive players will enjoy. Her abilities are mainly set up to hold down the fort, while some can also allow for aggression when needed. 
Her toxic screen can be used to split a site in two, essentially forcing the enemy team to pick either peeking and dying or staying put and dying. But underneath the aggression is her more passive approach. Viper can use her toxic screen to slow enemies down from pushing choke points to sites so that your team can safely rotate. Her setup game is super strong, not to mention the fact that she has most of her abilities on a cooldown. Her Poison Orb and Poison Wall not only reduces the enemy's health, but obscure vision while pushing through either. Viper is an agent for those with quick and smart decision-making skills that will allow setups on site to give you an edge over your opponent. Second to last on our list, we have Cypher. Cypher is known to be the defense agent of all defense agents. Cypher's most recognizable ability is probably his Trap Wire. This ability allows Cypher to place a tripwire that reveals anyone who passes through it and prevents them from moving until they have destroyed it. This would be annoying on its own, but when you realize that Cypher also has access to another ability called Cyber Cage is when things really start getting annoying. Cyber Cage is another deployable that blocks vision and makes a sound when enemies pass through it. Combining Trapwire and Cyber Cage creates a deadly combo for the enemy team that will leave them confused and dazed. We haven't even gotten into Cypher's other abilities yet, so why don't we take a look at what the enemies are doing with Spycam. This is yet another deployable and the last of Cypher's basic abilities. Spycam is a deployable camera that will turn invisible when not in use. Cypher can look through his Spycam whenever he wants and use his fire key to shoot a dart that will attach to enemy agents and spot them. Lastly, we have Cypher's ultimate ability, Neural Thief. You think Cypher just wanted to look stylish with that hat? Think again, as the hat is actually a robot that will upload a neural virus to a dead enemy to monitor their comms and discover enemy locations. In other words, hat attaches to dead enemy and all alive enemies are revealed. If you love always knowing where the enemies are and being able to lock down a site without even having to be there, Cypher is your man. Just don't look through his phone, trust us. And last but certainly not least, we have Sova. Sova, much like Cypher, is known for his intel gathering abilities throughout the round. Being able to relay the enemy's positions or even distract them with your annoying drone or recon dart sounds pretty fun to me. Not to mention his ultimate ability, nothing like using it down a long haul after scouting an entire team, taking them out one by one since you can use it from almost any angle or location on the map. Sova isn't necessarily made for an aggressive mindset, and more of a supportive mindset is useful when playing Sova to help out the team and bait the enemy into bad fights. You need to be the type of person who likes to know their way around the map in search of crazy ricochet angles that could get the jump on the enemy with your shock dart. Sova is an agent that doesn't just come naturally and instead has a high skill ceiling. If you like hunting and tracking your prey, Sova is the stealthy hunter for you. Just always remember, all it takes is one bad decision for the hunter to become the hunted. Before we end this video, we just want to let you guys know that ProGuides Coaching is live right now. Check out ProGuides.com for more information on how to become the best of the best. We also have a Discord. Join through the link below to meet up with like-minded people and cool community events and giveaways that are only available through our Discord. Well, that's going to about do it for us here at ProGuides. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification button for all future content to come. Stay safe out there, everyone, and take care.